गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम वृशाली धनोकर वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन इन्फॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट एट ए एस एम एस आई ओ आई टी पुणे इन माई लास्ट सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट सुपरवाइज लर्निंग अनसुपरवाइज लर्निंग एंड रेनफोर्समेंट लर्निंग टेक्निक सो नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इन मशीन लर्निंग दैट इज टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा एंड टाइप्स ऑफ स्केल्स ऑफ मेजरमेंट इन मशीन लर्निंग सो लेट्स सी ओके सो इन मशीन लर्निंग द बेसिक स्टेप इज डेटा प्री प्रोसेसिंग सो डेटा प्री प्रोसेसिंग मीन्स यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई द टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा द टाइप्स ऑफ लेबल्स ऑफ डेटा एंड वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा आर अवेलेबल बिकॉज दिस इज अ फर्स्ट स्टेप इन मशीन लर्निंग सो इन मशीन लर्निंग देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ डेटा वन इज क्वालिटेटिव डेटा एंड अदर वन इज क्वान्टिटेटिव डेटा सो क्वालिटेटिव डेटा मीन्स दैट इज अ डिस्क्रिप्टिव स्टेटमेंट and quantitative data means the data type that can be measured and expressed numerically okay so qualitative data always in a text based format and quantitative data always in number based format see here in this diagram the qualitative data qualitative data means names name of particular person then smell then colors there are various colors like green blue white right so this is called as qualitative data that is text based data and quantitative data means number based for example your shoe size weight of the person then uh, exam marks right so these are the quantitative data so text based data is very harder for statistical analysis purpose and number based data are easier for statistical analysis purpose and this qualitative data can be collected by using interviews in written documents or in observations and quantitative data collected using survey observation experiments etc so this is these are these two types of data are used in machine learning qualitative and quantitative next the next is scales of measurement so while performing different practicals of machine learning the scales of measurement these are the most important point in machine learning so in machine learning there are four scales of measurement nominal ordinal interval and ratio so first scale of measurement is nominal nominal scale means scale could be simply be called as labels means each and every thing a particular label is given so this is called as nominal nominal scale can be categorized are nominated names for example see here the gender so gender having two proper name that is male and female next one is a blood group so blood group means a b o a b so there is a one name super name and another with a sub name then religious there are various li re religions are there right so this is called as nominal there is no inherent order between the category we can't say that group blood group a is more superior than group b then we can't say that male is better than female right so there is no inherent order between the categories or one cannot say that the particular category is superior or better than other right so this is the concept of nominal scale next the next scale is ordinal ordinal means there are various categories of data is there and this all data can be arranged logically or in meaningful order for example see here student rank first second third so this is the rank of particular student so that can be arranged either in ascending order or descending order without any difficulty the next thing is liker scale means you are strongly agree with particular point agree disagree strongly disagree right so this is called as ordinal means you can logically arrange the particular thing in meaningful format so this is called as ordinal scale see here there is there is again one example how do you feel today then very unhappy unhappy okay happy very happy so these are the just different examples are there right the next scale of measurement is interval so interval means the all the data can be ordered and have a meaningful difference generally temperature or time these are the example of interval for example see here in the celsius scale 50 degree celsius is hotter than 40 degree celsius or 20 degree celsius is not half as hot as 40 degree celsius right so the celsius scale temperature time these are the example of interval and these thing are generally used in regression 
and the last scale of measurement is ratio so data measurement scale because they tell us about the order they tell us the exact value between the units okay for example weight and height so height and weight is dependent on each other right so the ratio scale provide a wealth of possibilities and it comes under the statistical analysis so ratio is generally used in mathematical and statistical analysis purpose so weight and height these are the best example of ratio so this is all about types of data and types of scales of measurement this generally used in machine learning